I've been working on youth service cuts across London since 2017 and the reason is that young people came to me and said we're losing our youth centres, our youth workers, can you do something about it? And with the evidence that I've got of the cuts I've been able to speak with the mayor, try and get some funding back in, draw more attention to this problem and uh, give young people a voice as well. My research this year comes in the context of the coronavirus crisis where many youth centres have had their doors shut temporarily but I know that youth workers are continuing to support young people in virtual ways and it's so important that we get those buildings open and get those youth workers back supporting young people in person as soon as we can. I look back in my research to 2011 and this year I have found that the amount of money that's been cut out of the youth service budgets is 44% over 35 million pounds a year now not being spent on youth services. Youth workers have fared incredibly badly. We've lost over 700 youth worker jobs and over 100 youth centres have closed compared with 2011. It's really hard to measure the benefits that you get from youth workers. To me, they are the third community service that young people need on top of their teachers and, and if they get into trouble, their social workers. In that other space, the space outside of school where they need an adult who is isn't their parent, who isn't their teacher to confide in, to ask questions, to show them the world outside of school. I want young people to know that someone is listening to them and fighting their corner. Uh, the work that I've done exposing the cuts to youth services has meant I can give evidence to the mayor that he should be putting money back in to try and fill the gaps. Up to now, we've managed to get about 70 million pounds in city hall funding put back into youth work. Now that's nothing like the amount that's been cut. It runs to hundreds of millions over the years, but it has made some difference. I hope that the publication of this research will show local communities across London that people are listening, that we're still keeping that eye out for the cuts that they suffered.